Former 90 Day Fiancé couple Jovi Dufrin and Yora Zayu are living in hotels until they choose the city they want to live in. Fans may remember that Jovi and Yora first found each other through a travel app. After chatting for months, they finally met in Budapest and eventually started dating. Since Jova's Rob's supervisor job involves a lot of traveling, the couple has been to several countries, including Egypt, Brazil, Australia, and Indonesia, in the past few years. After traveling around the world for some time, Jovi popped the question to Yara, and she said to his marriage proposal. When the Ukrainian native first arrived in the United States, she did like Jovis' hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana. She wished to live in a bigger city, preferably closer to popular reality stars like Kim Kardashian and Kelly Jenner. The 90-day fiancé star kept whining about Jovis' small town and threatened to go back to her home country. But she eventually decided to get married to her American boyfriend in Las Vegas in the presence of an Elvis Presley impersonator. Dot shortly after having their daughter Myla, Jovi, and Yora began planning to move out of Nola and find a city that would best suit their lifestyle. They have shortlisted a few states, but Haven decided to take the plunge just yet. During a Q&A session on Instagram, a 90-day fiancé viewer asked Jovi if he was living in hotels with his family until they found their permanent place. The TLC star confirmed that he and his family of three are temporarily staying in hotels in an effort to see what living in different cities would be like. However, Jovi admitted that staying in hotels could also be exposing us to the wrong areas of a city where we will actually live. Da Jovi revealed that he and his 27-year-old glamorous wife Yara are trying to figure out where they really want to put down roots. In the past, Yara had mentioned that she would like to move to Budapest, Hungary, to be closer to her Ukrainian family. But it seems that she has now decided to raise her family in America. Jovi and Yara have said great things about Florida, Texas, and Arizona. But there is a possibility that they would eventually move to Miami, Florida, because their daughter is always well behaved there, and all three seem to love the vibe of the city. Many other 90-day fiancé couples like Paola and Russ Mayfield and Elizabeth Pottis and Andre Kastrovid are settled in the Sunshine State. Therefore Jovi and Yora may not face difficulty finding new friends in the new city. They can arrange couple dates with their kids and have a blast at the beach. In any case, 90-day fiancé viewers are excited to learn where Jovi, Yara, and Milo will eventually decide to settle down.